This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 58 of the Orc Gun Wagon tutorial. And, uh, make that, press Alt X to make that, uh, see through. Select all of. Okay, select that, that, and that. What is that? And then uh, just link them. And next we can build the uh, tracks and start with one of these. So make a box. that big, convert to editable poly, polygon, right. select the bottom polygon and extrude to about mm, there, okay, select the side polygons and extrude uh, out just a bit, okay, then select the bottom of those polygons and extrude down a bit. Select those edges and chamfer them. Okay. Then you're going to want to select right, the perspective. Select all the outside edges. And this is why the tracks take up so many polygons, because each one of them is chamfered. And if you don't do it, it looks uh, pretty terrible, so you really have no choice in the matter. Make sure you get all the sides. And if for some reason you don't select something, uh, press Ctrl Z because you probably deselected something else. Now once you get them all, chamfer. Okay. Vertex. Go into the top view. Get it. And just drag it like so. Drag it back to about there and to about there. Perspective. Hmm. Alright, now let's just scale it down a bit. Because sometimes you can't always work from a picture. Okay, go into the left hand view and just line it up with the bottom one of those. Okay, in perspective, edge, like this edge and this edge, and connect, or actually no, this edge and this edge, connect. Okay, it's like this edge this edge, this edge, and this edge, and connect twice, okay, select this polygon, delete, and then go over here, uh, connect twice, select this and this, connect once, okay, select this polygon, this polygon, delete those. Select those two, hinge from edge, pick hinge right here, do 180, and do 8. Okay, and then do the same for over here, hinge from edge, pick hinge, 80 and 8. Okay, on the left hand view, and then just scale these, oops, inwards so they don't look so awkward. Okay, scale these ones. Alright, and then we're going to want to 
make a cylinder using auto grid right in the center here. Not too big, but big enough so that it goes through and so that you can see it on both sides. Okay, uh, give this eight sides and one height cement, convert to editable poly, polygon, select that, like that, uh, edges, chamfer. Okay. And then select this and attach it to that. Okay. Just call it track. And then just go over here. And this is where it gets kind of it's like guessing. So I just create a few tracks. Then delete some tracks. Oh, and uh effect pivot only, you're gonna want to center it right over here on that line about in the center. Okay. So that you can rotate it up. Okay, align it. And rotate. Okay, uh, go back to when you created one. And we have to make them a bit longer. Okay. There. select all of them. Just kind of guessing here with my measurements. But. Okay. Um. Effect pivot only. And move it to the right place. On that center line and back up. Wow. Okay. Delete all that until you have this again. Vertex. Select all of these vertices here and scale it in. Okay. Uh, scale that in. Okay. Pivot only and center it down here. Okay, now copy it. Select all of them, move it back a bit. All right, now rotate. Copy, rotate, copy, rotate, copy, rotate. Now you could spend a lot more time getting these to work, but it would take quite a while. Rotate it so that it's flat. Oh, no, exactly flat. Well, uh, that'll be it for part 58. I'll see you in part 59.